Okay, my next little project is I've got to refill a toner cartridge. Um, what I actually normally do um, when I get a new cartridge is I use this iron here, which basically makes a hole in a cartridge. Now I've got these various refills. Um, these ones here are from America. These ones are from China. Um, I got those to replace the American ones, uh, which are fine. They work fine. I've not always been happy with them, but um, these are just cheaper, unfortunately. So America, but. This whole kits were really good. They, they saved me a huge amount of money. So if the China ones have given me trouble, then I'll go straight back to the America ones. No, no worry at all. Um, I did have issues with some, say, Incal cartridges, um, Incal refill kit. Sorry, Incal, but your stuff didn't work for me. And um, there's the chips there, which just didn't work. I think it's still with firmware updates on the printers and stuff like that. So I'm guessing that you know the later stuff is probably fine, but. These ones here were just were not compatible with my printer, unfortunately. They're supposed to have been, but they just didn't work. Um, so I only went to someone else, who I currently forget the name of. Um, yeah. Oh, Tony Kits, that's right, I went to Tony Kits. And I, start, and I bought some from them, and they've, I've been using them ever since. And they've been really good. Um, again, I stipulate this thing about um, not updating the firmware on a printer because it can the firmware updates all they do is block the codes on some of these uh, the chips that they use um, so these chips here um, these are Chinese ones I haven't, I haven't tried those out yet to see how they work but uh, the the roof the firmware updates just basically block the chips and, and uh, stop them from working so they do those to block other people manufacturing them anyway so I've got the American ones, this is an empty one, but I'll, I'll skip using the top for that. And I've got the Chinese ones, obviously, as I said. The tone of cartridge is going to be refilling. Is this one here. Samsung 103, right? MLT D103. There we go. Here it is there, that one there. Um, we use a lot of toner in the printing stuff we do. So, um, because of that, rather than spending $150, $150 or so on a cartridge each time, I refill them. So you can get several refills over each cartridge before they start to fail. So uh, I've already refilled this one twice already. And um, that's what I've got the date on this. My wife's refilled it, January. This one is just finished. So um, I think we get about probably for about four months or so to each cartridge, four, four months of printing. Um, maybe less depends how busy we are at the time of the year um, yeah so this is the cartridge we're doing this one here and then wants to check that number out okay so um, and that's where the chip goes in there and on these original cartridges you actually there's a little ledge on the end there I won't get it close enough to see it but if you cut that ledge off and all the way along that lip on the front there, you cut all that off so you can then slide that chip out and install the new ones and, and just secure them in place. So I use a little bit of um, of liquid uh, electrical tape just for that because it's fairly solid and sturdy and um, but pe peels off again easy enough when you want it to. So you know I'm going to refill this cartridge here. I just want to show you how I do that and hopefully catch it on camera okay without me miss it, making a huge mess. <laughs> which happens. So I've got a bit of tail here already. Try and catch some of it. I'm going to use this and one of these American ones here. So I've used the Chinese ones on my other printer. I've got another Samsung, which is the wireless one inside the house here, and um, we use that for those. So what I'm basically going to do is break it up a bit, get the lumps out. Before I open it, because it's very dusty, this is um, you're supposed to avoid getting it everywhere. You definitely don't want to breathe this stuff in. It's supposed to be carcinogenic and stuff like that, so um, you want to try and avoid that certainly. So that one can now go. So what we've got here is this, the opening I've already put into this. So I'm just going to open that back up again. Okay, so open it back up. Try and avoid anything falling inside the cartridge because that will ruin the cartridge. Alright, so you've got to be really careful of that. 
If you see anything dangling off, get it out. Okay. Because any bits like that will ruin the cartridge, it will scrape the drums up. Okay. So now, I just need to make sure it's definitely broken up into the bottom of the container. And I've got to try and make sure it doesn't leak everywhere. You can see if I've already got some leakage going on there, which is a bit of a pain. Now, I'm actually kind of doing this upside down, kind of. So you've got to pour it in, and also got to try and get it down the other end of the container of the cartridge, because it will just pile up by the hole otherwise. So, as you can see, it's making a mess. That's why I've got the paper towel down, trying to make it a bit easier to clean up afterwards. All right. And this is, you know, the worst bit. I mean, get it over your fingers. I mean, this stuff gets everywhere. It's really fine powder. You don't squeeze the bottle because if you squeeze it, it'll, it'll puff out everywhere. And um, what I usually do to clean up afterwards is get a damp bit of towel and just clean up with that, and it all sticks to the, to the, to the moisture in the towel. The hardest bit of this is getting all the toner out and into the cartridge because you, know, you pay for all that, so you want it to come out. And it's got a little lip inside the, the, the container as well. Alright, right, let's have a little look, see if it's enough. Still see a little bit coming out of there. See that? Let's just uh, do that with it. It just keeps on coming. Okay. It's still start coming out. It's still coming out. Feels like it's pretty empty now. Okay, I think that's pretty much it now. That's a pretty messy process. Um, okay, so that's all the toner on. And that's going to get something to clean this up a bit. There's some crap here. Yeah, it's just very messy. So. What I've got to try and do is get all this toner here, get rid of all that loose powder. So I can stick some new foil over the top of that to seal it back up again. Obviously, you've got loose powder, foil's not going to stick, so you need to try and get rid of all that. Um, So it's really hard to do this without making a mess. Okay, so I've got some foil. This comes with the kits you buy, um, at least for the American ones. I think I have to probably buy it separately from China when I go to use those kits. So enough to cover the hole up. I'm not even sure why it has to be foil. I mean, you might be able to use you know, some other kind of tape. I'm not sure. This pit, the cartridge doesn't get hot, so I'm not quite sure why it has to be uh, aluminium foil. But uh, stick this on there. Okay. Now you've got to run it along all those ridges to make sure it's definitely sealing. It's a little bit tedious, but yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, so I highly recommend timer kits, have been really good. Incal were good to deal with, but um, unfortunately their kit just didn't work for me. Um, but, so timer kits have always been excellent. Their site is really basic, but um, their, their service is excellent, so 
highly recommend them. And uh, you know, so if you, if you can use them, do. But I just happened to switch to this Chinese supplier who I haven't actually tried out yet properly. So it could be they're rubbish, I don't know, but uh, I'm maybe going back to Tony Kits yet. So that's that sealed. The recommendation I have is actually empty the cartridge out. This is the waste section. Um, I do it occasionally, you don't have to do it every time. Um, I'm just going to leave that in for now. I'm not, I won't clean it until next time. This one's got some slight streaking on it anyway. Um, actually, yes, because it's got the slight streaking, I think I will empty this out. Because it could be a bit of rubbish in there. Okay. So I will do that this time. I'll go and do that now. Alright, so I've emptied that out, put some new foil on the top. Just gonna run over it with a damp bit of cloth to try and get the dirt off it. Get rid of all the dust that sits on it. Not a bitch. Okay. And off my fingers. Everywhere, I'll wash my hands for a minute. Next thing I need to do is change this chip. So I've got different ones here. Okay. These are later ones I've got. These ones came from China. So I might just give one of these ones a go before I run out of the other ones. The actual board looks different. Let's just have a compare with that. So it's going that way around. Just fits slightly differently. Not by much. I think it'd be fine. So this looks like I've got it's got a V score in it. Snap that off, hopefully. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Let's get this in. Right. Let's do that in. And I said done.